it has not been a good time for the Lynx Awakening fans. <laughs> um, started started okay, then um, the long ass hiatus, then uh, come back for like a video or two, uh, then like months later, uh, nothing, then I'm back with a video now. I mean, I. <laughs> I will admit a lot of people will be like, Chris, just don't finish it if you don't want to. But like, it's not like a bad game, right? Oh, you know what? No, we're fine. Anyway, here's my plan, okay? My plan, I don't know if I went over it last time, but my thought process is that I will get the, uh... Nope. Nope. Yeah, this, this, is, this part is not fun. I will say that. There we go. But uh, my thought process is that I'm going to get the, uh, the bow and arrow. And I think the bow and arrow might open the door. Because, like, last time there was a door like that, throwing a pot at it worked, right? So, like, it could be the same thing this time. Anyway, yeah, I played, like, all of, uh, <laughs> all, whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. I played all of Mario clips. Uh, uh, I played all Mario clips. The, the Mario clips came out. And I was like, "Sorry, Link's Awakening. Super Mario Sunshine will always take priority." And then, um, like right after that, Echoes of Wisdom came out. And I was like, "Sorry, Link's Awakening. Um, I have to do Echoes of Wisdom before that entire extremely spoilable game gets spoiled." And now we're here, right now, and, like, part of me, like, almost forgot to come back to this game, because I'm, like, I'm looking at my games to-do list. There are new games that are coming up and everything. I'm like, maybe I should play those games. No. Sorry, Link's Awakening. It's really not your fault. You're a very interesting and unique game. It's just, then you have this dungeon, which fucking sucks. Especially if it actually requires me to, uh... Oh, how about that? It requires me to grind money for a bow and arrow, which is completely irrelevant to the dungeon, by the way. I feel like other Zelda games, um, just give you the things that you need. In the previous Zelda games, everyone, uh, hated me because I either didn't get the bow and arrow because I didn't know it existed, or I didn't use the bow and arrow because I never thought to, and then I complained about things that the bow and arrow would have solved and gone, why... Why didn't they make something that, um, made this easier? And then everyone's like, Chris, they did! It's the bow and arrow! Link's iconic bow and arrow! And I'm like, Link's, o Link's iconic anything is his sword. And not that kind. That, what, what kind of joke is that, man? What kind, literally, what kind of joke is that? But, uh... His bow, his bow and arrow is less iconic than his shield, and if you want me to be quite honest with you, less iconic than his hookshot. Tools that Link uses. Sword that is masterful. Okay, that ate that. Sword that is masterful. Shield that has the Hylian crest on it. Hookshot, because like, did any game do a hookshot before that? If they did, um, they didn't do it as well as Zelda apparently did. And I would love to get the hook shot, but I need the less iconic bow and arrow. Maybe I'm just being toxic, right? Maybe people's people's criticisms of me have made me jaded instead of uh, humbled. I mean, they're right. The bow and arrow would have definitely made it easier, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Does the game? It, I, this is a genuine question. This is not like the game doesn't let you know. Does the game like? really, like, let you know, or those games in the past really, like, go, you should use the bow and arrow. Here's the bow and arrow. Because I played Echoes of Wisdom, and they're like, here are bombs. Well, you had bombs beforehand, I guess, technically, but, like, here are bombs. Then we're gonna make a whole dungeon about, or, like, a whole little mini section after you got bombs, where you use the bombs to really drill it into you. The bombs are a part of your tool set. Now, granted, um... I was already using the bomb fish so often <laughs> that, like, I kind of just didn't even internalize it. But, uh... 
You, do you think, like, the point of this is to in get you to internalize the spin? Because you had the spin in Echoes of Wisdom, too, and I just didn't use it. I just... <laughs> is that... Is that some... Uh, is it good? I need some old man in this game to tell me the spin does more damage than if you were to just repeatedly slash. And I'd go, thank you, old man. That's the information I needed. Now I will use the spin as often as I can, because, you know, it's risk-reward. You have to sit... Well, you don't really have to sit there. You are actually quite agile. But you have to, like, sit there and charge it, and then, like, you could whiff it, and then all that time you spend is wasted. I think it deserves to do more damage than just going... Anyway. That's kind of another reason why I'm like, maybe, like, I wanna, I wanna play a different game. I'm home alone now, so I can scream. Now, usually I don't do that intentionally. I did there, I did there. Sorry about that. But, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, my, uh, I put my mic farther away. I, it probably sounded bad in the other videos, but it should sound a little better now. But, uh... This is not a game where you really are gonna scream, like, or get jumped, or whatever. Like, if you're playing Dark Souls or whatever, and, like, an enemy hits you with a surprise lunge attack, and you go, ah! You know. Should I play Dark Souls while I'm home alone? Yes. By the way, hey, guess what? This is bad! Making me grind up to 980? Now, I know what you're thinking. Chris, you should have just saved money for the bow and arrow. I didn't think I would need it. And you know what the worst part's gonna be? I'm not gonna need it. That's the funny part. 100% this is not the solution. And if it's not the solution, we're gonna have to like reevaluate Link's Awakening here. In that it might, uh... It might be put on the chopping block. At least for now. Like, maybe just coming back in... Who knows how many years with a fresh mindset. Will, uh make this non a non-issue i'll just go like i'll just happen to stumble into the fact that oh yeah you just kind of like jump over this thing that i just did not see 20 times when running through the dungeon somehow it's possible though it's possible that like for the pet what well, <laughs> the funny thing is i took like a month break and then i was still stuck so like i don't i don't know if that's really the case but it could be. Anyway, the funny thing about um, me is that you have to sit here and watch me do this. But that's okay, because I have banter. Or do I? Well, you know what? Blue coins in Mario Eclipse really uh, helped train me. Where have I been in the last few months besides playing Zelda and Mario Eclipse? Because that shit should not have taken several months or however long it took, right? Um, I haven't been really doing that many jobs. Actually... I haven't been doing that many jobs, but one job I have has been more demanding. Dog is incontinent now. So, uh, now, is that my fault? I fucking hope not. I don't think it is, but, like, I'm not gonna victim blame or whatever, but, like, sure, this, no, I, sh I shouldn't talk about this, actually. <laughs> I should not talk about this, actually, but, uh, This is kind of like, I'm doing my best with how often I have to be there, is all I'm gonna say. Uh... Well, that makes it sound like I didn't... I didn't do my best. I did. Except for like, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> we might get into a little too much personal stuff there. But, uh... Anyway, the idea... The, the point that I'm getting at... There's a point, by the way. The point is that, um, now I'm like, well, I don't want this dog to, like, end up peeing in her crate a bunch and whatever. So usually now I just stay at the house, which I haven't done since my first two overnights. After the second overnight of doing that, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna drive home. <laughs> which is funny because at that time I had a laptop. I was on my laptop, so I, I didn't really have any reason to go home. But, like, once I got this, well, not this desktop, but a desktop, a proper computer, it's like, the deal was sealed. Hold on. I drank a lot of water before this, so I have a water burp. 
My good friend Luke always told me that I uh, gulp water too fast, and the reason I get water burps is because I'm gulping down air, and gulping down air is bad for you. Which is true, I imagine. This is taking fucking forever. Is there a better way to get money in this game? I kind of figured they put all this shit below the shop just so that you could do this. And just be like, okay, well, you can just get the bow. Like, what the fuck am I doing with my life right now? <laughs> I could be... I could be fucking... What's a short game? I could I could be beating Klonoa in the time it takes for me to buy this stupid bow and arrow. Wait, Han. New idea. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm worried I'm gonna, like, run over the edge. You know what? Side to side. Okay, come on, man. Like, like, why? Literally, why, though? This is not as efficient as this, somehow. Yeah, so I have been doing that overnight job. That has been eating away a lot of my recording time. And does anyone remember those videos of, like, Mahjong and Bullet? That, um... Were from that house? Those were not great. They were something, though. I get, there are times where I just don't go home. I just stay at the house the entire day. It's kind of impressive. But yeah, I did the first two jobs. I was like, those are the only two times I actually like stayed over the entire house. They're at the house the entire time. I don't know if that's unusual or like bad of me, but like the thing is, um, well, one, I have other jobs, or at least I definitely had other jobs. Two, I have a life. It, it's hard to believe, but like, I do, I do ha want to do things other than sit at a house um, that is not mine. But uh, are these like butterflies coming out of the bushes? No. Okay. But uh, yeah, you're like a, a lot of it was kind of like that. But a lot of times I'm just like, eh. The, do the dogs are fine. Unless it's like a super long overnight. Like sometimes people were away for like two weeks. That In that thing, I'm, or in that instance, I might be like, okay, let's like find something to do at the house and stick around every like few days. Have a, have a big long visit or something. Or more often than every few days. Let me make sure that I am, okay. If I was not muted, no, no, <laughs> I'm in a Discord call. I don't think they know that I'm recording. But I'm like, well, nothing's going on there. I'll just deafen. I would hear them. You can't deafen and unmute, which I think kind of sucks. It'd be kind of funny to be like, just like be in a call and then like they can tune in and just hear me talking to myself or something. <laughs> They can do that on YouTube, but I don't think they do. But, uh... I don't blame them. I mean, I don't watch that many streams or things anymore, because... Time is of the essence. I'm not gonna say that I have a life, but I do have more of a life than I did when I would just watch a bunch of streams and Let's Plays... ...all the time. I appreciate you watching, but, um... Look out, look out for yourself, okay? I wasted, like, all my life, uh... I feel like I wasted all my... ...young adult life. Just, like, watching streams and getting shiny Pokémon, like... <laughs> or, I guess, competitively viable Pokémon. And then competitively viable shiny Pokémon. That's not the reason I dropped out of college, but I was doing it during college. I know that's not the reason I dropped out of college, because I went back to college recently to be like, Oh, right! I have a better work ethic now, I took a big break from school, it's not like I just did uh, 12 years of school. Uh, and then go into college, I'm ready to do classes. And then I did classes, and I'm like, I cannot do homework. I can't do it. Sorry. I can pay attention in class, I'm very good at that. That's my favorite thing. If there were classes where all you had to do was pay attention in class, and then like take tests, I would be very good at school. If school was about, like, learning... I mean, okay, look, to be fair, to be fair, homework is 
not completely evil and is necessary sometimes, right? But, uh, that doesn't mean that I like doing it. No, sir. Definitely do not like doing it. It's just like, even, like, in college, it's like, okay, in normal school, it's fucking insane that you go to school for, like, eight hours, five days a week. It's a full-time job or you don't get paid. And then you have to do, like, sometimes, like, six hours, like, three to six hours of homework a night? What are you on? <laughs> it's not really the teacher's fault. It's just kind of, like, how it, how it goes, I guess. Well, sometimes it's the teacher's fault. Like, what the fuck do you want from me? Honestly. But, like, I'm- I'm a big advocate of writing, right? Right. Ha <laughs> ha So, like, essays aren't really that bad for me. I like writing, but then it's like, I had- I was doing an English class, because I'm like, you know, in an alternate life, I would have become an editor. I would have become a probably successful editor, because, uh... I feel like, um... Grammar and writing is literally the only thing I'm, like, somewhat adept at. And that sounds like an exaggeration, but it's literally true. It's like, I'm just kind of really pathetic. <laughs> like, I hate practicing things. I never really practiced anything in my life. Why do you think I can't play fighting games, man? Because uh, they require practice. So, like, writing is the only shot I got at, like, a non-blue-collar job. But, like, that's still- that's very scary and intimidating. Um, anyway, I did- I did an English class, just in case, you know? I- I'm like, I could get an English major. I could be an English major. And I know what, you know, oh, English major doesn't get any money. Well, I don't get any money anyway, and, like, it's the only course I got. Like, I'm gonna get a blue-collar job anyway. I might as well try to get a, like... What's between blue and white? I might as well try to get a sky blue collar job, um, as a writer. Even if I don't get paid that much. Like, at least I can... <laughs> I don't have to say I'm a pet sitter and then everyone goes, Does that make you enough money? And it's like, the answer is half yes. You just have to sell your soul. Like, I, I worked for a couple and they made 60000 a year. Um, together. Um, and also they hadn't seen a movie in a decade. They hadn't gone to see a movie, see a movie in a decade because of all the dogs. Uh, and, you know, I mean, if that's like, <laughs> 60,000 isn't that bad, but that's between two people and, um, yeah, they sold their soul to do it. So, like, pet sitting is not a good job, mate, but, like, I'm stuck in it because I'm, like, so afraid of every other job in existence. Everyone I know has a job, right? Like, how hard can a job be? And I am on the- I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I really do need an actual job. Like, I tried school. I hemorrhaged all my dog jobs because I believed in school so much. School didn't work out, so now I just still just have, like, a fraction. Well, fraction is smaller than it was. It makes it sound smaller than it is, but I have a fraction of my- jobs, and this has been going on for, like, a year now. So, like, I need- I need to make money and fast because I am old. I am old and I have no work experience and it's kind of grim. And I'm like, okay, I'll- literally, actually, at the start of this year, I was- or, like, I think literally one year ago, because it's, what, like, October now? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's October now. That's like the 10th year of- or 10th month of the year. So definitely by October last year, I was like, I'm gonna get a job, a real job, by New Year's. Or at least, after New Year's, I'm gonna- Cause, you know, Christmas season stuff is brazy, right? So, after New Year's, I'm gonna put my nose to the grindstone and get a job by the end of January. Guess what? It's October. And I, uh, I applied to- a few jobs. They didn't get back to me. Why? Well, like, there were actually two jobs I was pretty, like, pumped to get. I was like, I could see myself enjoying this job. But, uh... No. I was like, I could probably be, like, I'm- I have social anxiety and stuff, but, like... I feel like when it comes to work, I put on a- a mask. 
I put on a mode that like is pretty cheery and sociable and nice and people probably like it. Um, I think I'm pretty good at that, so I was like, I could be a receptionist. And then my friend became a receptionist and quit after like a week because she was like, my throat hurts. It's so taxing. So I'm like, okay, remove receptionist from the search, the job search uh, criteria here. Can you believe we only have $800? Like, fuck off with this. It's 980 right? Fuck you. Whoever decided to do this. Talk about my damn life again. I feel like I talk about this all the time because nothing has changed, right? Was I talking about this during Paper Mario? Remember the Paper Mario playthrough? I was grinding for the Tasty Tonic and then I, like, started getting into super real talk. You're not allowed to let me grind in a game, okay? It's like, it's dangerous. I'm a volatile human being. When it comes to, like, depression or whatever. But, uh... Yeah, anyway. So, <laughs> it's October. I, I, like, halfway through the year, I was like... In, like, June, I was like, okay, I'm gonna... I really, like, actually did job searching and stuff. But then, um... Oops. But then disaster struck. This this overnight that I was just talking about, uh, that like always has me, like had me for like, a, like two weeks in June, and then like a week and a half in July, and then like a week in August, and then now, a week in a few days, and I'm like, well, it pays pretty well. That that job pays pretty well, and as long as I'm getting money and can like still have a good chunk of free time to do things that I should be doing, like recording more games while I have the free time before I lose my life to a 9 to 5 or whatever. I'm like, I should take the, take the, like, a pretty good amount of money and all the free time. Instead of, like, saying, sorry, I can't do the job. I'm finding another job. And who knows if I'm going to find another job? Like, didn't it take Gavin, like, four months to find or to get another job, and he's, like, actually qualified and had actual job experience in the field he was looking for. What hope do I have, man? I have nothing on a pet sitter. I could get a lot of recommendations, though. So, I, I will take that, but, like... Who wants a damn pet sitter? A 28-year-old pet sitter? Who has no other work experience? And no college degree? What have you been doing your whole life, huh? I don't, I don't, I can't, I can I could not work in a high octane environment like a kitchen, a McDonald's kitchen. I wouldn't want to work at McDonald's anyway, brother, but like, like Wawa? Hell, hell no, man. I love Wawa, but that job would kill me. I want like a, a chill, normal office job or something. I could be using this time to learn how to program, but I, like, I don't really know where to start with that one. Uh, I don't really want to go to programming school, but, like, well, I could, but we kind of run into the same problem I was talking about before with, like, the school part of that sentence. I mean, but it's, like, something that you're learning, and you actually, like, homework would be good because you're, it's practicing or something. I don't know. Is programming school actually, like, worthwhile? Does it actually get the job done? Does anyone know? Can anyone, like, inspire me to go to programming school? Because I think I'd be pretty good at programming school. Think about it. I want to be an editor. I have a very good attention to detail. I scan over messages that I send to my friends, like, five times. For, like, D&D, &D, everyone just kind of writes, like, unpunctuated one-line replies. Meanwhile, I sit there and I write five pair, like... Five or over five paragraph essays for two seconds? Things that happen in the span of two seconds? Just to go over like what the character's thinking, like the movement they do and then why they do it, like... I'm probably perfect for programming and I mean I guess it's never too late, but... Here's the thing, it's something I don't know how to do and like... There's always a part of me that's like, it's too late! It's too late, you might as well just do nothing with your life. And everyone's like, oh, Chris, it's not too late to do anything. Remember, um, 
I uh, like Junji Ito made like the best manga of all time. Started he only like started drawing at the age of thirty or something. I'm like, yeah, that's probably true. Well, I mean, of course that shit's true, but like, I don't know what caused them to do it. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure they had experience before. They were working actual jobs and stuff before me. I got nothing. I can't even beat Link's Awakening. I can't believe it hasn't been 30 minutes yet. This feels like it's been 45. Why can't it do this more often, game? You know, you didn't have to do this in Echoes of Wisdom. You know, like, Ech Echoes of Wisdom gave you the bow and arrow and it was, like, actually useful? That's not really fair, because these old 2D Zelda games only really have one plane of existence. The bow and arrow had a niche in that there actually are flying enemies in that game. And you can't reach flying enemies with your sword. Right? Maybe that's the case in this game. Like, those annoying dickheads that spit out bombs. Maybe if you just shoot an arrow in their direction, the game will... The game's programmed to... Excuse me. The game's programmed to be like, uh... Okay, that still hits, even though it doesn't look like it's gonna hit, because you're shooting from the ground, and we're not gonna angle it shooting upward. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. So I should be doing, like, that. I mean, if I do this, right? Is this more efficient? I don't think so. I, I, I kind of lost the sauce a little here. Oh well. But yeah, definitely, like, upload, uploading is slow and bad already. Like, I might just disappear from Let's Playing, um, once I get a job. I might be like, I literally, physically, cannot record blind playthroughs anymore. I, like, <laughs> doesn't make any sense as long as I have the time to do it but I might have to like combine it with other stuff like hanging out with friends or whatever it's like I want to hang out with my friends and I want to play a game but here's the problem friends are not good at not spoiling things so I probably will still keep them separate anyway I like what's playing I still like it it's not like a it's not necessarily a chore I have to, like, psych myself up to start doing it. But once I start doing it, I'm in the flow, man. I've been- I've just been talking. 27 minutes, and I've not even really been processing. That I've been just doing this boring-ass shit for, uh... 27 minutes, except, like, occasionally when I'm actually thinking about it. Like, like imagine that, but, like, when you're actually doing fun things. Or mentally interesting things. Instead of, uh, walking, <laughs> walking around the same dungeon for, uh, 45 minutes, trying to find out the one thing you have to do. But you can't banter during that, because you have to be paying attention, otherwise you'll miss it. And it's like, oh, Chris, you would not have missed it if you weren't Let's Playing. No. Trust me. You know me! You, you know that that is not... The folly I fall into. At least, like, not often, I think. I probably, annoyingly to most people, only talk about the game, because I'm focused on it. Right? At worst, me talking means that I don't get to hear the music that much. But it's okay, because every game I play, I take the soundtrack, and I listen to it in the car, and then I put all the songs I like into a big album called exclamation mark highlights and I just put that on when I'm driving or whatever and I do a lot of driving while I'm pet sitting I don't really listen to it that much when like playing games where you don't need the audio there's like no fucking way this thing is 980 like fuck yourself actually what is your problem yeah, I could, like, go play a mini game or whatever, like, go do the maze game, right? But at this point, I'm kind of chilling, right? 
The topic of discussion is pretty depressing, but like, I'm kind of chilling. I'm still... I'm still talking. I'm still, uh... It's not like I'm just sitting here in silence doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, there's the 30-minute timer. I don't even know why I set a timer. <laughs> Why is it- whenever I play this game, I feel like whenever I talk, I get a sore throat and I need, like, a cough drop. This didn't happen with Echoes of Wisdom. This didn't happen with Mario Eclipse. I don't know what's happening with this game. Maybe it has to do with duress and not knowing what to do. I mean, here's the thing. This is the worst that this game has been by far, right? I don't think I've gotten this stuck before. It's not like A Link to the Past where I got this stuck, um... Literally every two videos. What a miserable time, man. It was so funny, I have a mutual on Twitter who played all the 2D Zelda games in anticipation for Echoes of Wisdom. And he put A Link to the Past in F. <laughs> and I'm like, is it bad that I saw that and went based? That's just the heel part of me, where it's like... I think I mentioned the Terraria thing before, where I'm like, Terraria is not a bad game, but because everyone likes it and I kind of don't, um, I get to play the heel. I get to play the heel for that. There's a, there's a very specific, um, intention behind set, behind calling it playing the heel, by the way. I think I already mentioned that. I don't think Terraria is a bad game. Do I think A Link to the Past is a bad game? I don't, like, here, I'd have to look, I'd have to watch other people's blind playthroughs, I think. That's what I would have to do. Unfortunately, it's a dying breed. Like, that one, uh, that one YouTube commenter mentioned, like, wow, a blind A Link to the Past playthrough in, uh, 20, in the year 2024. I know there are, like, Gen Zers that are existing and going, wow, this is hit, wow, this ancient, ancient past. I, I'm so curious, like, me wanting to play Mario Bros. 1 for some reason, just to say I did it, because it's... The first Mario game. That is gonna be miserable, by the way. If I don't... <laughs> you have to stop thinking like this. I'll say it, but I really have to stop thinking like this. If I don't end up, like, dying in a truck accident first. Did you know? Then, like, I'll, re I'll, I'll record... I'll end up recording a bunch of videos. Like, like, a week or two's worth of videos in, like, one session or whatever. If I really like the game. Like, uh, Mario Clips or whatever. And I'll say Echoes of Wisdom too. That was two of them. Because this, this is literally what happened with those two games. And I will think to myself, I should upload these and schedule these. Well, actually, before it was like I should upload these and do all the metadata for these now. Because what if when I'm driving to one of the dog jobs I have, I get hit by a truck or something? Or like, I careen off the road somehow. Some bad thing happens. Uh, and then I die. Then all those videos are just gone. It's lost media. I might as well upload them as... Well, this isn't how it was before, but that's, this is how it was starting with Mario Eclipse. I might as well upload them, even if they're titled Mario Eclipse 29. And then, uh... People will see that. And I mean, if, like... If that happens repeatedly for, like, over a week, then I think you know that I died. So that's kind of another good thing. You'll know that I died. I think about this sometimes, too, where I'm like... I don't think anyone online will know that I died, right? Like, none of my real life friends know any of my online friends or anything, right? I have Luke and I have Max and uh, I've not really talked to Max in forever. And Luke is kind of doing his own thing. I could probably, if I was paranoid, I, that's the thing, like... <laughs> was it, if a friend came up to you and said, hey, if I died, would you, like, let... Uh, well, how would I... How would he let all my friends know? Do I just, like, give him the information of, like, Gavin and then, like, someone in every other friend group? Just be like, contact these people just in case I die so they know I died. Because, like, I'm depressed and stuff, but I think people would like to... There are people who would like to at least know if I died. I feel like that would be very valuable information. And then there's like the... <laughs> the 
the evil part of my brain that's like, so they don't have to worry about me going, please don't play this. I want to watch you play it, please. I want to watch you play it blind. Your blind playthrough means more to me than you could ever know, please. And they'll go, oh, fucking finally. I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. I can just play it. But, you know, for, for other reasons besides that, of course, people would like to know. While we're talking about my death, um, I don't really think I need a funeral. But also, more importantly, if something happens to me and I, like, become, like, a vegetable or, like, I'm so forgetful that I'm, like, paranoid about, like, like, I don't remember a nurse that it comes into my room that was there five minutes ago. I need you to find some way to get me killed, okay? I'm putting this putting this information out there for anyone watching this, okay? This is this is I think this is something I've said. It's been <laughs> but whenever the subject of my mortality comes up in a let's play, um I feel like this this comes up, right? Every so often. Because I I find it I'm very serious about it. Right? I, like, not because, oh, it's, it, well, it's like, one, it's scary. But two, more, like, I'm not going to be myself anymore. So, like, literally, what is the point of being alive anymore, right? Like, w even if there is a heaven or whatever, like, th there's no point in being on Earth anymore at that point, I believe. It's just kind of scary and it's depressing for everyone, but, like, the idea freaks me out so much. There's, like, an episode of JoJo Part 6 or a chapter... Where there's, like, a stand that makes it so that the protagonist can only remember three things at once. That was probably, like, the worst piece of media I have ever seen in my life. Not because it's bad, but just because it made me so uncomfortable. It's like, it's like I guess it's, like, one of my greatest fears. So it's kind of great that I already have a bad memory, and then also, like, bad memory is seeming like it's running in my mom's side of the family. Uh-oh. Where do, like, apparently all of my genes come from? Oh, my mom's side of the family? My my two brothers got my dad's side, and then I got my mom's side? No, well, maybe I'll... It's hard to say. I, 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 I don't know if I would have alcoholism, but, um... I'm not about to find out. <laughs> but, uh... I think alcoholism would just be a... Not really a genetic thing on my part, but a, uh, a mental, a mental thing. Cause I'm kind of, did I mention this? I'm kind of spoiled. I kind of like, I kind of always get what I want. As in like, if I want something, I will buy it. Cause I'm like, oh, you know, money is meant to be spent. Why be uncomfortable or whatever? But then that goes with like, very bad and unimportant things. Like some of my friends might know if they <laughs> see me play particular games. Uh, I think that this is just kind of from this is a an I a thing from my childhood. You know what? I think honestly, I I feel okay with with uh, saying it. I think my parents were like too soft on me. They were too nice. I'm saying this because if you become a parent, you cannot be too nice on your kid. Otherwise, they'll end up like me. Pathetic and um, reliant and will spend all their money on everything they ever want instead of showing any amount of restraint. Okay, this is a warning. This is a warning to you. You need to do this for me. If I can do anything in the world, it'll... If I can do any... If I can have any positive impact on the world, um... It could be saving kids from my fate. You gotta... You gotta make them do chores. You gotta make them get a part-time job. You gotta make them drive when they're 16, even if they're deathly afraid of it. I was deathly afraid of driving. Um, now I drive, and it's my job, and I think it's, like, the most unconscious thing you can do in the world. And that sounds bad, right? Like, oh, Chris, you're gonna get in a car accident, but I haven't. It's, I'm just saying it's that easy. It's not that I'm looking at my phone or whatever. I'm still paying attention, but, like, you don't, you don't have to, like, well, unless you're driving on the highway, or at least for me. If I'm driving on the highway, my knuckles are white on the steering wheel. But, like, for normal driving, I don't think so. And, I mean, honestly, if you live in a city, I'm sure you get used to it. 
If you have to drive on a highway to get to any civilization, I'm sure you get used to it. I mean, hell, I had to drive on a highway to get to one of my dog jobs for like two years, and then driving on that highway is not scary anymore, so I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, the point is, don't think that, like, oh, you're scaring the shit out of your child, like, I mean, you probably are in that moment, but, like, it's much better than living with the regret of waiting until you were 20 to learn how to drive and then going, I really should have learned how to do this when I was 16 because it's so fucking easy. And if you don't know how to drive because you're afraid of it, please, please take my advice. Please. It's, I'm being serious here. It's so easy. I'm driving a two-ton thing. It could kill anyone at any moment. I have to be paying attention at all times. And even a little steer of the steering wheel will send me careening off the road and I'll kill me and 20 other people. No, that's, it's really not that bad, I promise you. Take it from someone who was probably more afraid than you are to drive. I did it out of necessity, you know? <laughs> pet, sit, like, pet sitting came up as a job that I could do instead of uh, feeling absolutely terrible sitting at home for like a year. It's like, hey, there are pet sitters in my neighborhood. I almost just said the name of my neighborhood. That would have been bad. Hey, there are pet sitters in my neighborhood. Let's just, uh, let's ask them if, uh, we can be a pet sitter too, because pet sitting is good. Uh, pet sitting would be a good job, because, uh, you don't have to talk to people, which is the worst part of any job, in my mind. We're almost there, people. We're there. These are only worth one? No wonder it took so long. Hey! Hey, guys! Since when did the- Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Since when? Oh, is that an 80 the max? Is that why? No! What?! Since when is the blue rupee not worth five? I was- I saw the blue rupee, I was like... This is- wow! This is great, all I have to do is probably collect like, wh whatever 200 divided by five is, it's not that much. And then I'll be good. No wonder it took so long, I thought I was just not getting that many. Fuck you. Anyway, I was like, I have to learn how to drive to get a job, and this, it'll be the best job of all time. It's not. But like, you know... There goes all my hard work. All right, now, we're not gonna end the video. We're gonna go back to that stupid fucking temple and we're gonna find out if we can, uh... Let's save, actually. Well, I guess I saved in the shop, right? But let's see if my theory is right. If my theory's not right, you might not see another Link's Awakening video uh, for several years where I start back at the beginning. But, and maybe it'll be the Switch version. Did I mention that I, uh, I bought the Switch version when we were in the forest area? I, it was half off at Best Buy, and I was like, well, I should probably play that one because it'll look nicer and whatever. And it kind of doesn't look nicer. I mean, it does, but I'm like, the toy aesthetic kind of, ugh. It's toy, I hate Toy Link, man. Sorry. I, I just, I hate him. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, but it'll be too easy. I want to see how it was back in the day, right? So I, like, I bought it, and then I ended up returning it. Or, like, canceling the order. And I maybe, maybe a little kind of regret that now that we're at this part of the game. But, you know, if I, if I do end up, um, foregoing this game in favor of, uh, In favor of the Switch version, then. Or if I do end up coming back to this game, it'll probably be to do that. Because I'm sure... I mean, I, they're, I, like, they're apples and trees or whatever, so you can heal more. That That's like whatever. I'm not wasting the arrows. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm just curious. What the... Zola! Zola! Oh, wait, but can't you just hit them anyway? They just fly away from your thing? Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, I go in the water, right. It's just right here. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, yeah, maybe I'm being a little catastrophic. Maybe I'm catastrophizing it a little. Whoops, that was an accident. I don't think it matters. There, I remember there are arrows in the pots. That's why. That's how I came to this conclusion anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know catfish is small. Sucks! Alright, here we go. What if it's like you just shoot... The bow and arrow on the thing. I mean, what, 
How do I get to that place? I think I take the second underground path or something. Oh wait, I, have, I do have this. Well, all I'm saying is in Echoes of Wisdom, I never got stuck. Well, actually, I got stuck twice for like four minutes each. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, maybe, maybe I'm just saying. <laughs> Boing? No. I remember this. I do remember this. This is, this temple is probably. I was gonna say this temple is probably. Wait a second. This isn't right. Right. Where do I want to be at? You know, while we're here, let's just see. If worst comes to worst, we get teleported back to the beginning. No, this is it's definitely not here. How did I kill that other guy? I guess I launched one of the guys into him. No, 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 wait, isn't there like an underground thing here? Or am I thinking of another part? No, wait, hold on. Maybe I'm right. No, but this is where you need the hook shot. Right, 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 right. Uh. Uh. Um. All right. No, not all right. Um, help? I don't remember getting stuck here. I remember I had to turn around, which is why me being stuck here is quite unusual. No, wait, no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. All right. The moment of truth. Was all that um, TMIing worthwhile? No, it wasn't. All right. Great. Okay. Question... Question number two, why are there arrows here? Why are there arrows here? That's not what you do. I mean, I'm glad this isn't the solution because that would be so fucking stupid. But like, I wish it was the solution because then I could keep playing the game right now. Do I have like a small key and I just don't realize it or something? That would be pretty damn bad, right? Hold on, which one was it? Damn it, I, I, you know I tried. Huh? Bro, I'd love to. Wait, what if I... Can you kill this guy? Why does it keep giving me arrows? Are these arrows? Or are these hook shots? 11, 21. They're arrows. I was like, maybe you uh, you have to shoot that guy in the eye and then it extends the bridge or something. We know, we know for a fact that that's a hookshot thing, right? Why make a one way? I don't know. Remember that A Link to the Past uh, level where, um, that A Link to the Past dungeon where it made it a one way and you had to do the Team Rocket, uh, the Team Rocket room again? I think someone in the comments said that I was like, my reaction to having to do that over again was like the most annoying thing they've ever heard or whatever. <laughs> I went down the wrong path if I wanted to keep experimenting in that room, which I did. It's so fucked, by the way, it's so fucked up that the height is an illusion in this game. I mean, it goes both ways, I guess. So it can't be that bad, but... Like, 100%, the hookshot is on the other side of this door, right? Right? Well, there's not a treasure chest there. But does it only show treasure chest? No, the treasure... The compass was treasure chest, but like, I don't know, man. I have no idea. This dungeon confounds me. Maybe I'll just upload this video now. Like, I was gonna upload it after Echoes of Wisdom, but like, this 
just be like, the Zelda block. It's the, it's the Zelda block. But, uh... So after Zelda, there's more Zelda. But, I don't know, if I'm, like, not gonna play this game anymore, then, like... Okay, it can't be over here, because this is where you go... This is definitely where the boss key is, right? 100%. This huge spectacle area. You get the item of the dungeon, and then you go... Then this is the big spectacle area, where it's like... Whoa, you barely dodged all those things to the power of the hook shot. Whoa, you're gonna cross this this room that is just a giant black pit with the hook shot to get to the highly guarded boss key, which is over a 200 mile pit. I can't imagine it going any other way. The question is, where's the hook shot? Which one of the chests is the hook shot? And furthermore, uh, why even... Okay, and here's... I, I think I already said this theory before. This is, like, a prize for if you remember to come back here to get it with the hookshot. Like, if you go out of your way to come back to the start with the hookshot, you get a prize. That's my belief. I could be wrong. I'm not gonna, like, put too much... Too much, uh... What's the term? Onus in it or whatever. But... Why is it the blue rupee one? Wasn't that, like, set much later? Or much earlier? That precedent? That green is one, blue is five? Or maybe it hasn't existed yet. I just, like, have to check again. Right? Oh, this again. The room above here is very important to me. Fuck you. I don't know why I thought it was just going to go across. <laughs> My theory is it's in one of those chests. And then the other chest is like, you just got the hook shot. Use it right now to go to this other chest and see its mighty power. Am I wrong? Has anyone thought of this dungeon in the same way I have? Or I guess every Zelda dungeon? Because it probably is the same formula every time. The formula. You never know, I might have to buy some other item to make this work. Where's that room lead? It's just an empty room, right? I mean, there's probably something in it before, but... So there's a chest in the room above here. What am I trying to do? Fuck you! There's a chest there. You need the hookshot to get that chest. You use the hook... You get the hookshot over there, walk up here, use the hookshot to get that chest, and then use the hookshot to get back over here. And then you're back in the main part of the dungeon. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Okay, but here's the problem with your theory. There's... There's no... Also, it plays that sound. Which kind of just sounds like, this is an important chest. Okay, but isn't the idea I get to the chest from under here, and then hook shot out that way? But I already tried that. No, this was right. The idea that I, like, have to kill this thing? Do you kill this thing with a bomb? Then what will that do? Like, it's not gonna create a path. Way earlier than that. I mean, that would kill it, right? Like, surely the idea is that this area is dangerous. Do I have, like, a potion or something? I'm gonna have to walk back through this dungeon just to try to figure this out. Like, it can't... Fuck you. I thought that was the jump button. It can't be that. This ha this has to be the hookshot, right? Through process of elimination, logically, through game design hypothesis, this has to be the hookshot. 
which limits what we have to do by a lot. What we have to figure out, what we have to know or learn. It limits it by a lot, right? You want... It gives you bombs in that room, it has a crack in that room, and a guy. Pushable blocks are the only thing between you and it. So theoretically, you push a block to open the path, right? That makes sense, correct? But you don't, you don't, what? I'm like, maybe you kill... But I'm like trying to launch a guy into him. That, that like doesn't work. And I tried pushing every single fuck you, every single block, right? <laughs> the way Link twitches like that, by the way. Is it like maybe you go, you fall into a thing and it actually takes you to an underground area and then you climb up even though there aren't stairs over there, so that wouldn't be it anyway. I hate you. Why do you do so much damage, man? Fuck off. Why did that hit me? these refresh? Yes. It's like maybe you super push this one by running into it. And that's why the crack is there. It has to be pushing this one up, right? Well, no, it doesn't. How, how would pushing a block in one direction there actually get you anything? It won't, right? Like, it won't actually open a path, right? I'm just like, it's gotta be this because it's the only thing that makes sense. Bring on the block pushing. But I'm not actually, like, looking at it and going, wait, even if I push this up, there won't be enough space for Link to go anywhere. Fuck you, honestly, like, what, a terrible, terrible stage hazard. <sighs> and this is the only area that makes this sound, so I'm like, this has to be it. But you can't make the jump across. You have to be able to get in from down here, from this side of the room. But how? How, Elmo, how? It would make sense if you push one of these into a pit. Whoops, forgot about that. Because the bomb is in the way. Like, this one, and then you do a triangle jump, but like, that's not it. Glink wouldn't be able to get in through here. Glink wouldn't be able to get in through here. Glink wouldn't be able to get in through here. Unless you can push it twice. I mean, now I'm wondering if, like, you are supposed to get in through that side and then push that block onto this crack and then the block falls through and that's your way out. I don't know how... Like, they, then they would expect you to do a triangle jump, which sounds quite odd, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. You can use it to push sea urchins, but, like, this is different.
Why do they give you bombs? Can't blow up this guy. You can't blow your way in there. Why do they give you bombs in this room? Can't pull these. There's not enough room. None of my tools do anything. I mean, they obviously do, but like... I'm stuck! Well, we'll see how this plays out later, I guess. Maybe, maybe. <laughs>